So let us start. Check my test. Our topic this uh, time is evil in chains, or what does the Bible say about the millennium? As we start, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, be merciful to us, forgive us from our sins, give us wisdom and understanding to study your word. Also, please bless those who are watching and listening for the Holy Spirit upon them, Lord, so that the word will change our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, this is one of my favorite topics because it is huh, the millennium. There were some uh, fishermen or sailors who got lost in the sea. And then they traveled back. They had volunteers who traveled back to where they came from. And they found uh, they found signal. They got a signal and they were very happy because somebody was coming to rescue them. You know what, my friends? We are also in this dying world and we Without God, without Jesus, we are going to die for eternity. If we just knew that we were actually made to live forever, that's why, you know, death is so scary because it is uh, really scary. But God wants us to give, wants to give us eternal life as he has planned on the first place. So let us see what uh, are the parts of God's plan. You know what? In the Bible, it says that someday this world will end and sin will be removed and Jesus will come in the clouds of heaven and those those who are ready to meet him will meet him in the air and Jesus is coming with all the thousands and thousands of angels and that time it will be judgment for us all it will be the executive judgment for us all so let's read revelation 20 verse 1 to 3 then i saw an angel coming down from heaven having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand he laid hold of the dragon the serpent of old who is the devil and satan and bound him for a thousand years and he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal on him so that he should not deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished but after these things he must be released a little while okay what does the millennium uh, mean millennium means thousand annum means year okay the bible says that there will be the resurrection of life after the beginning of the millennium okay okay let's read things about that and then there will be the resurrection of damnation at the beginning of the millennium people will be resurrected just to be judged negatively how sad yeah and then let's continue to read we should not worry John 5.25 says, Most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. Wow. That's why we like to listen to the word of God so that because uh, that's actually our only hope. What is next? John 5.28 says, Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who hear who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. So even if we die, no problem. That hour is coming when all who are in the graves will hear God's voice. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation what do you want to do my friend evil or good and let us try to do good because the prophecy says those who do good will be resurrected to life and those who do evil will be resurrected to condemnation that is what the bible says what will happen to people who died revelation 20 verse 5 and 6 this is the first resurrection Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. So there is a first resurrection and a second resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. So the good people will be resurrected, and they will reign a thousand years with Jesus Christ. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Who are going to rise first? Those who were persecuted for righteousness sake. That's why you understand the prophets and the martyrs, why they lay their life and their influence. They put everything and preach righteousness because it was worth it. No matter what other people do to you, truth is worth it. Righteousness is worth it because 
it says here that the, the righteous will be resurrected first and the dead in Christ will rise first. First Thessalonians 4.17 Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So those righteous who died, they will rise and those living who are still alive, the righteous will meet the Lord in the air. Wow, we are going to fly my friends. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Wow. We shall always be with the Lord, worshiping God night and day. John eleven twenty five. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. This is the best news. We are not afraid to die, especially when we do God's work, because God is everlasting life. We are going to live anyway after. Isaiah 26, 19. Awake and sing, you who dwell in the dust, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Wow. wow. So the dead will be cast out from the uh, graves, and they will be alive. John 14, 1 to 3 says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Who is giving that uh, promise? Jesus Christ. We are going to where Jesus is. Wow, that's very exciting. Revelation 20, 4 to 6 says, And I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection over such the second death has no power okay so uh, even if we die now it's okay the problem is what if we die the second death because the second death has no more resurrection the first death is because we have sins but because God uh, forgave us from our sins and became our substitution we don't need to die the second death my friends so that is very powerful the most important thing that we have to understand over such, the second death has no power. Those are the blessed and holy. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him 1,000 years. That is the millennium. Okay, 1 Corinthians 6, 23 says, Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? Do you not know that we shall judge angels? How come? Yes, because we are going to read the books of judgment, the records, and we will see and understand why evil angels fell and why some people were not saved and why some people like us were saved uh, uh, miraculously and we will read the whole record for 1000 years we can look into heaven's database everything there that we have done in secret or in public whatever we have thought in secret or we have said every idle word every encouraging word is there but praise god uh, there is forgiveness for all the stupid uh, things we have done before and it will be written there but those that are forgiven god will erase Okay, even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are your judgment. Why, 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 what is that the record for? So that we will understand that God is true and righteous. Wow, we have 1,000 years to do that. The Lord will consume them with the breath of his mouth. When Jesus comes, the evil people, the evil angels, the evil people, I mean, will be consumed with the breath of God's mouth and destroy them with the brightness of his coming. You know, when you do evil, you don't want to look at people. You don't want to see God. You are afraid. You want to hide until you are forgiven but if we don't repent when jesus comes in the air we will hide and because we are afraid because god is a consuming fire and his mouth his breath will consume sin if we don't repent from our sins but we can repent and god can forgive us immediately jeremiah 25 33 says and at that day the slain of the lord shall be from one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth so sad so many people did not repent will not repent but uh, let us just try our best to do the great commission to tell people the good news god's proposal for eternal life so people can have, can have a chance to repent anyway the lord respects our decision if we don't want to repent we don't want to listen to righteousness we don't want we god respects our decision okay but every decision also has its uh, effect they shall not be lamented or gathered or buried they shall not uh, they shall 
people become refuse on the ground. So everybody who doesn't want to listen to righteousness, everybody who doesn't want to repent of their sins will die later and will become refuse, will become garbage in the ground. The whole world will become a big garbage dump of people who rejected God's righteousness. The sword that goes out of his mouth. What is the sword? That is the good news. God's power. The word of God. This is powerful for those who want to repent, but this is a curse for those who want to do evil instead. Revelation 20 verse 5, but the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. So the righteous were living in heaven, and the dead were sleeping or in the earth. They were, the, the unrighteous were not living. So the, let us summarize the events that define the millennium. First, Jesus will return with all the holy angels, Matthew 25, 31. And then the dead in Christ will rise in the first resurrection, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. The living saved will be caught up to meet Jesus in the air, 1 Thessalonians 4, 17. The redeemed all go home with Jesus and reign with him for 1,000 years revelation 20 verse 4 and 6 then the unsaved perish in the presence of christ at the second coming that is from jeremiah 25 33 the unsaved dead remain dead and are not resurrected until the 1000 years until after the 1000 years according to revelation 20 verse 5 Satan is bound during the 1,000 years by a chain of circumstances. There won't be anyone alive on the earth to tempt or destroy. So Satan and his angels are just around in the earth. Nobody to tempt. Nobody will believe them anyway in the other planets. So they are just there. And everybody who believes them already died. So they are just here uh, thinking what to do. The righteous are in heaven and all the wicked are dead. Earth is complete in complete ruins. Jeremiah 4, 23 to 26. So, uh, uh, Revelation 21 to 3, Then I saw an, uh, another, uh, the, an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal on him, so that he should not deceive the nations no more till the thousand years were finished. But after these things, he must be released for a little while. So after the, what, the thousand years, Satan will be released a little while. What does that mean? Huh? Jeremiah, the Bible explains, Jeremiah 4.23 says, I beheld the earth, and indeed it was without form and void, and the heavens, they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and indeed they trembled, and all the hills moved back and forth. I beheld, and indeed there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens had fled. I beheld, and indeed the fruitful land was a wilderness, and all its cities were broken down at the presence of God the Lord, and by his fierce anger because of all the sins in those cities. So the millennium, this is what happens. The earth is devastated and desolate. Jeremiah 4, 24 to 27. And all the unsaved are dead, slain by the brightness of Jesus' coming. That's in 2 Thessalonians 2, 28 and Revelation 19, 21. And all the saved are in heaven, reigning with Jesus Christ according to Revelation 20, verse 6. Satan is bound on this desolate earth planet with no one to deceive, according to Revelation 20, verse 1 to 3. Now, when the thousand years have expired, what will happen? Revelation 20, verse 7 and 8. You see, this is God's holy temple. And uh, and uh, it looks like uh, some people want to go inside and attack God's holy temple. Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth. Uh -huh. who, is going, who is going to be deceived? The nations who used to be deceived also by Satan. To gather them to the battle whose number is as the sand of the sea. It's so sad. So many people don't want to repent. They want to believe Satan instead of God. It's so sad. But uh, may God help us find the people. God, it's their decision anyway. But the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. So after 1,000 years, the rest of the dead, the evils, the evil people, will be alive again according to this verse. 
the number is as the sand of the sea. Now when the thousand years have expired, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth to gather them to the battle whose number as the sand is as the sand of the sea. So what are they going to do? Satan and all the generals and all the people who don't want to believe God, who want to believe Satan, instead they went up on the breath of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. I think they are more evil people than good people, uh, humans I mean. But God has more angels than Satan and God is God. I mean, who can this defeat God? It doesn't make sense. And therefore, fire, they, were, they, were, they wanted to attack the holy city. And what happened? Fire came down from heaven, from God out of heaven and devoured all of them. Sorry about that. That's why, my friend, let us repent from all our sins. If we used to love evil, now we should really evaluate, count the cost, what we are trying to do because judgment is coming, is here. There is still a chance while you are still alive. Let us repent because we don't want you to be with those people who will be in hell, who will not be in heaven, in the holy temple, in the holy city. I mean. Malachi 3.4.3 3 says, You shall trample the wicked. What will happen to all the people who don't want to listen to God? They will become dust and the righteous will trample upon the wicked. So don't worry if people persecute you. Someday if they don't repent, I hope they repent, but when people persecute you, those persecutors, like those people who put Jesus on the cross, those people who chanted that he, let him be crucified, let the curses be on them, that prophecy came true and they will be trampled like the dust. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, said the Lord of hosts. There is nothing to be to worry about, my friend. If we are if we love God, whatever they do to us, no problem. Someday we will walk on top of them, of the people who don't want to believe God. As long as we are with God, we just want to be with God. That's the best thing, decision we want to make. Okay? I hope everybody will do that decision. Mark 9:45. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame the rather than having two feet to be cast into hell into the fire that shall never be quenched how scary jeremiah 17 27 then will i kindle a fire in its gates and it shall devour the places of jerusalem and it shall not be quenched even as sodom and gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to this having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh are set forth for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire is Sodom and Gomorrah still burning now? No, but the effects of the fire are forever. That is what will happen when it says the eternal fire, God is the fire. And when God burns the sinners, it will have eternal effects like what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, it doesn't mean hell is burning forever. No, it means when God's fire comes down to sinners, the effect will be eternal as Sodom and Gomorrah was. Revelation 14, 11 says, And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. I will not go away from you because he loves you and your house since he prospers with you. So the Lord wants to save us. The Lord will not leave us. You see this uh, picture, in this picture, Jesus wants us, to, wants us to have the robe of righteousness. We are unrighteous. We are all sinners. But God wants to cover our sins when we repent. Yeah? All our sins can be covered, can be uh, erased if we accept Jesus Christ's robe of righteousness. Do you want, my friend, to be righteous? You have to accept Jesus Christ and he will make you righteous. Then you shall take an owl and trust it through his ear to the door and he shall be your servant forever. Or in the Old Testament, if you have a servant and, you know, it, it's interesting in the Jewish uh, society, servants have to be freed every seven years. You have to let them go and do whatever they want. But if they don't want to go, you say, okay, you put a, an owl in your ear. That means if you love your master, then you shall serve him forever. That Does that mean <laughs> that you are still serving him now? No. No, forever means until you die okay when you die then that's forever for you is finished 
So, uh, so for the people who are going to die, the forever is until they die. Then finished. Forever is finished because they are forever gone. But for the people who are alive, forever is still going on. That is the real forever is for the people who are only alive in heaven. Wow. How about the people, the devil? Revelation 20, 11, uh, 10 to 15. The devil who deceived them. You see, we don't want to use deceit. If deceit is in your toolbox, my friend, I think uh, we should not use that. The devil, it's better to keep silent you have the constitutional right in most nations to stay silent instead of telling lies or deceiving people was and the devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone then death and hades were cast into the lake of fire this is this is the second death and anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Therefore, I brought fire from you from the midst. So let us be careful what we do and let us repent from all our sins. Because if we believe the devil more than we believe God, we should not believe the devil, only God. Ezekiel 28, 18 and 19. Therefore, I brought fire from your midst. It devoured you and I turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all who saw you. So the whole heaven the whole universe is looking at what's happening after the thousand years all who knew you among the people are astonished how come the best angel become the worst enemy of god yeah that is what's going to happen at the end of the great controversy they will be astonished you have become an, an horror and shall be more no more forever how sad because of pride because we want to believe our own ideas instead of God's prescription. How sad. Okay, anyway, what can we do? That is their decision. There is a chance to repent. For Satan, it's finished. Only 6,000 plus years. For us humans, 70 years or until we die. Since we don't know when, to, when we are going to die, it should be immediately. Second Peter 3.10 The heavens will pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Your computer, your car, your building, your house, everything will melt with fervent heat. That is why the most important thing is righteousness, is God's word. Because though heaven and earth shall pass away, God's word will still be the same. Both the earth and the works, everything that we have ever invented, it will be all burned up. Wow. No more internet. No more fiber optic. That's why we should use all of this now for propagating righteousness. Revelation 21 verse 4. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more sorrow nor crying. There shall be no more sorrow nor crying. Okay. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Wow, very nice. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. So we will forget all our problems. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Wow, heaven is very nice, my friend. No problems, no pains, no death, no sorrow. That is what Jesus wants to give us, my friend. My appeal, God's appeal for you. If God will forgive us from all our sins, let us, then why don't we repent? God wants to give us eternal life. God wants to prescribe things for us. Let us believe Jesus Christ instead of our own self, instead of the lies of the enemy. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, be merciful to us, Lord. We are sinners. We are sheep gone astray. We don't know the left from the right. Forgive us from our sins. Please thank you for your robe of righteousness which you want to give to us. Help us to find other people who want to be saved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.